In this fast-paced world of B2B sales, time is of the essence. And as per the Harvard Business Review, B2B buyers are often pressed for time. In most cases, within a mere 20 seconds, a time span shorter than your average Instagram story, a B2B buyer will form snap judgment on whether to explore further engagement with a potential salesperson or a vendor. This means that you have to up your game when you are an entrepreneur introducing yourself for the first time in front of a potential customer. And one of the best ways to make a kick-ass first impression is by having a killer elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is your lightning quick attention grabbing spell. Picture this, you are in an elevator with a potential client and you just have 30 to 90 seconds, the duration of an elevator ride to make a memorable impact. Whatever you essentially say during that elevator ride becomes your elevator pitch. It gives you the chance to convey information about yourself, your product, your idea, your business in a simple yet crisp and memorable manner. Now here's the kicker. According to a survey by Sales Fuel, a whopping 73% of business buyers admit that they are more inclined to refer to a salesperson who nails their first impression. So having a killer elevator pitch isn't just a nice to have thing, but it's an absolute must for every entrepreneur. In this video, I will show you by example, how to make a great elevator pitch for your business or product and also highlight some specific types of elevator pitches. At its core, an elevator pitch comprises of five essential components and I'll break them down for you right here. First is the introduction where you can ideally spare five to 10 seconds to grab your listener's attention with a hook. That hook can be a thought-provoking question, a compelling statistic, or a surprising statement. The second component is the problem statement. Here you identify a specific problem or pain point that your target audience faces. Third is the solution part, where you quickly but crisply present your solution or product as the answer to the problem you have identified. Fourth is the differentiator part, where you explain the value or benefits your solution brings to the listener or the business. How will it improve the situation, save them time or money, or enhance their outcomes? And most importantly, differentiate your business and give it a unique edge over your competitors. Fifth and the last component is the closing argument part, where you conclude with a memorable closing statement and possibly include a call to action of any kind. Now let's draft an ideal elevator pitch for a company selling a SaaS product which aims to streamline the operational and project management workflow for digital agency. So for the hook, which is the first component of the pitch, let us use the data bagged hook like this. Then the problem statement could be something crisp like this. Then we take the third component, the solution, followed by a fourth differentiator point, something like this. And concluding it with a closing argument like this. And we have our elevator pitch ready. So let's hear it out. Did you know that digital agencies lose up to 30% of the producting time in inefficient workflow management? Our innovative solution is changing that narrative. As a digital agency owner, you are likely grappling with the challenge of juggling multiple projects, leading to a chaotic workflow and loss of valuable time in low impact tasks. This inefficiency leads to loss of time, which not only affects your productivity, but also limits your agency's potential for growth and client satisfaction. Our product is designed specifically to streamline operational and project management workflows in digital agencies. By automating redundant tasks and organizing project timelines, our tool ensures you spend less time on admin work and more on what actually matters. Like generic project management tools, our solution is tailor-made for digital agencies and offers features like integrated client feedback loops, real-time collaboration tools, and advanced analytics to track project milestones. This means not only do you save hours of work, but also enhance overall project quality, setting your agency apart from the competition. Imagine reclaiming those lost hours and transforming them into creative, client-focused work that drives your agency's growth. So let's revolutionize how your agency operates today. Kind is the wooing elevator pitch where you speak to what your audience is most proud of or what your audience regards the most and build the flow of the pitch accordingly. This one is similar to the pitch that we created earlier in this video. Second type is the data focused elevator pitch where you use data to illustrate the problem you're trying to solve and its intensity and gravity. The third one is a fear-based elevator pitch where you use fear as the anchoring factor to illustrate what your customers are missing out if they don't opt out for your product or your service. And the last one is the storytelling elevator pitch. 
and it's all about painting a picture in front of your potential prospect. Where you choose any kind of emotional lens or copywriting technique you want to apply like humor, sadness, inspiration, sarcasm and so on. And with that, I'll conclude this video. I hope you learned something valuable from this. For more such videos, subscribe to my channel and please share this with someone who may need it.